Welcome to the Sudoku Primer channel, where we solve Sudoku without using candidates. This is puzzle number 150 from 1,000 Plus More Sudoku Puzzles by Charles Timmerman. It's at funster.com, or you can go to amazon.com also and get it. And we're going to look at quadruplets in this puzzle and learn how to use them, even if we can't solve them we can still take advantage of them. You can print this puzzle so you can follow along with the video. Just click on the link in the description below or go to sudokuprimer.com and go to the menu item print YouTube puzzles before you watch. Well, the best thing to do here is to solve this puzzle. So let's get going on it. Let me show you a couple of things I noticed on this puzzle right away when I started um, looking at it. And that is we've got a 2, 3, 5, and 9 here. And those are 2, 3, 5, 9 quadruplets right there. We also have a 7, 4, 6, and 8. And that means there's a 7, 4, 6, 8 set of quadruplets right there. Now we can't solve those. We got seven, six, four, eight. We can't solve those. We can't solve these either. Two, three, five, nine. Two, three, five, nine. But they help us find some other numbers. Let's look over here. We've got seven, four, six, eight right here, or four, seven, four, six, seven, eight. And that means there's 1, 2, and 5 right here. And they're all in this same column, so that means there's a 3 and a 9 there. Now we can't do anything with that or the 1, 2, and 5 here. So, but keep those in mind. We're going to use those to our advantage. Let's look at this one, 2, 3, 5, and 9. So that means we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 4, and 7 here, 1, 4, 7, we can't solve those, but we have a 6 and an 8 here. And we've got a 6 there, a 6 there, so one of these is a 6. 6 goes 6s, so that's a 6, and that's an 8. So these quadruplets right um right here helped us find this 6 and 8 right there. All right, and now we've got a, uh, let's see, that 8 here, 8, 8 there, so that's an 8. And got an 8 here, 8 here, 8, 8 there, so that's an 8 right there. All right, let's now remember our 4, 6, 7, and 8. With that 8, we can solve the rest of them. There's a 7 there, so that's a 7. And these are 4 and 6. So with these quadruplets, we found these numbers. With these, we found some numbers here. That 8 first, and then we found the other three numbers. So these quadruplets have helped us out quite a bit already. All right, and we've got a four here, ghost fours here, and a four there, makes that a four. All right, and then we've got a five here, five here, ghost fives there, five, or ghost fives, five, and a 5 here. We know these are 3 and 9, so that makes that a 5. If 3 and 9 were found because we found these uh, 1, 2, and 5s here because of the quadruplets, so we know that can't be a 5 right there. All right, then you got 5, 5, and a 5 here. Let's see, one five there, so five, five, and a five right there. All right, 
right? I think that's all the fives we can solve right now. All right, now we have a three and a nine here, so what's left? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, and six here. And uh, six there, six there, so that's a six. And then we got a one and two left. With that one, we can solve those. All right, and then remember our one, four, and seven here. Now we can put a one there. With that seven, we could have four there and a seven there. There we got sixes there and a six there, so that makes that a six. All right, now we got a two here. We have ghost twos there. And two and two there, so that makes that a two. I guess with these twos, we could have solved that also. All right, let's see. Four's there, so that's a four. Four's there, so that makes that a four. And fours there and a four there, so that's a four right there. All right, now let's look at box five here. We've got a six there, six there, so that makes that a six. And six, six with a six there, so that makes that a six. All right, now we're missing one. Three, one, three, and nine there. There's a three and nine there, so that's a one. Three and nine. And only got one number left there, that's a one. And now we're missing one and seven there. Seven there, so we can finish those, finish that row. All right, now we've got uh, one, one and nine left here. With that one, we can solve those. All right, now we've got ones there and a one here. So that's a one there, one, one that's a one there. We have two and five left there. We still can't solve those. All right. Let's look at this column here. We're missing one, two, three, seven, eight, nine. There's a seven, eight, and a nine, so that's a three. And with that three, we can put a three there. And so we've got seven, eight, nine there. Seven, nine, eight, nine, seven, eight. So we can't solve any of those, but we found the three, so that's good. All right, now we have a two and five left here. We can finish those with because of that two there. Now we're missing two, five, two and five here. With that two, we can finish those and finish this box with that five, with the one, two, fives we knew of. All right, now let's look at box four right here. We've got one, two, seven, nine right there. Nine there, so nine, seven, and two, three. We're missing two and three there, so we can fill those in. We can finish that box. All right, now we're missing in this column two, two and nine. Got a two there, so we can finish those. And then what do we have here? Three and five, so we can finish those. With that nine, we can get our three and nine that we found at the beginning. All right, and what are we missing in box two here? Three. 
3 and 7. There's a 3, so 3 and 7, and 8 and 9. With that 9, we can finish the 8 and 9. That helps us finish the 7 and 8 down here with that 8. And that is it. All right. Well, the takeaway to this one, this puzzle, is that we need to scan the puzzle first and look for things that will help get things going. We found a set of quadruplets here and here. We couldn't solve the quadruplets right off, but that helped us find these numbers and those two numbers and these three numbers and these two numbers. Then we found we could solve these two, the 6-8 twins, and that got us going, and that helped us find the rest of the, the numbers and finish the puzzle. Well, thanks for watching, and be sure to check out some of the other 315 plus videos on this YouTube channel. There's certainly something for everybody out there. Well, I'll see you next week.